Now, there is a sneak peek going on this weekend. It's not until later on in March, the weekend of March 28th and March 29th, where the opening weekend gala is. But if you want to come in for a free sneak peek, you can come into the Long Center for the Performing Arts this weekend. I want to put up all the information for you. Today and tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., Mass Ensemble will be performing. And you could also get a tour of the new Long Center for Performing Arts as well. Now, if you could come in Saturday or Sunday, well, on Saturday from 10 a.m. to midnight and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., there will be performances by artists who will be taking part in the inaugural season. And you can also get a behind the scenes tour of the Arts Center as well. Now, all events during the sneak peek weekend are free. And if you want more information, you can log on to the web link section of KV.com. There we set up a link to the Long Center's website. Now, coming up in the next hour, we're going to be talking to the directors here at the Long Center for the Performing Arts. Talk more about what types of people will be here, what types of performances in the upcoming season, and also a little bit more about the history and the future of this center. Reporting live inside the Long Center for the Performing Arts, George Kanick, KV News. It is beautiful. It certainly is. Can't wait to see more. Well, Austin will soon have a state-of-the-art center for Central Texans to enjoy the arts. The long-awaited Long Center for the Performing Arts set to open its doors to the public, and this weekend, everyone's getting a sneak peek inside. KV's George Kanick is there live with a little bit of preview of the sneak peek. Hey, George. Hi, Melissa. We're, we're inside Dell Hall. This is the main performing arts theater here, the main performing arts hall here at the Long Center for Performing Arts. And we're actually standing in one of the balconies, obviously lined on either side with these balconies. The view from here, spectacular of the stage, of the entire hall. Unbelievable what you could see here. Unbelievable acoustics. Everything here at the Long Center for Performing Arts. Really just about perfect. Joining us this morning is Jack Bunning, the marketing director of the Long Center. Good Jack, morning. thanks so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thanks un for coming out. Unbelievable what you have here. Already the inaugural season is, is pretty much booked. Tell us some of the people you're going to be happy to We have. Here. We oh, Actually, right after we do uh, the sneak peek this weekend and a gala opening the end of this month, we go right into programming with, in the small theater, the Rollins Studio Theater, we have a world premiere by Austin's own, Rude Mechanicals called Method Gun. And then we inaugurate Dell Hall with Kathleen Battle, the opera soprano, who wow. uh, it's her last stop before Carnegie Hall. Wow. And then throughout the summer, we're doing Cherry Holmes, who's a bluegrass group. We're doing a play called Love Janice about Janice Joplin since she lived here for quite some time. And then one of the other highlights is a Flat Stanley for the kids. Um, and then a, a show called Video Games Live where music is played live to video games <laughs> from Pong all the way to the most current games and actually people in the audience get to play the games live while the symphony is playing the music to it. Wow. So, and this weekend, the sneak peek that's going on this weekend, this is free. This, this is free. Tell us about it. It's all free to the public. Uh, it's our opening to the public. Uh, the community built this building. We felt like we should open to the public first. It is all free. Um, tonight beginning at 6 to 10, there'll be building tours. Tomorrow night, 6 to 10, and then all day Saturday and Sunday. Performances by lots and lots of community organizations highlighted by Saturday night Grupo Fantasma on Saturday night here in the hall and also uh, a group called uh Mass Ensemble, which is turning the front of our building into a musical instrument. To a harp, you Into saying. a harp, and they will actually play the building. Um, wow. Although we're not sure we can do it tonight because of the weather, but certainly tomorrow night and, and Saturday throughout the day and Sunday throughout the day. So it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's free to the public. I know you will have a link on your website right. for the full schedule. Yeah, if you click on kv.com and go to our web link section, you can find, we have a link there to the Long Center for the Performing Arts, and right there you can find out all the information. The full too. schedule is there. Right. Well, Jack, thanks so much for joining Thank us Thank you this all morning. for coming really out. really appreciate it. And again, Jason Lewis, you got to come out here and see this Long Center for the Performing Arts, an incredible, incredible performance hall here inside of Dell Hall, another smaller hall as well. And the view from the front is absolutely amazing of downtown Austin, the best view in Austin of downtown Austin. Reporting live at the Long Center for the Performing Arts, George Kanick, KV News. And this morning we are live inside the Long Center. It opens tonight to the public, but this morning we are giving you a first sneak peek. Tonight, the much-anticipated Long Center for the Performing Arts near Lady Bird Lake opens its doors. It's been nearly three years in the making. We are live this morning. Kate White out there to tell us about this project. Kate, good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, I am standing on the main stage in the Dell Theater. This theater holds over 2,400 people. And you know, this whole project has been taking place since May of 2005. That's when construction began. And when the doors open tonight at 6 o'clock, this is going to be the largest nonprofit art center in all of Central Texas. We are officially done and open. We opened on time and on budget. In fact, we opened a little early. 
it could soon be one of the most recognizable buildings in Austin. And with a price tag of $77 million, how it was funded is just as amazing as the construction. As you know, the Long Center was built uh, without city or state money and uh, based on from donations from around the city and, and the state. That's why you'll see someone's name on almost every wall. And speaking of the walls, you may recognize material from the old Palmer Auditorium that once stood here. 65% of the old Palmer is reused or adapted somehow in the Long Center itself. Like the old dome was cut to form the tiles on the outside, and the public can check it all out starting Thursday night. We are expecting thousands of people to come through our building to get building tours, vaccine tips, and information on how the building came together. You'll be able to see the main Dell Theater that seats more than 2,400 people. With state-of-the-art acoustics, there is not a bad seat in the house, which will be home to the symphony, opera, and ballet. Downstairs is the smaller Rollins Studio Theater. And it will be home to 150 or so of our smaller emerging and mid-sized arts groups in town. It's already booked through May of 2009. The reception areas with amazing views of the city are also booked with wedding receptions and conferences, all of this even before the doors officially open. Because it will become uh, a mainstay uh, in the cultural scene of Austin. Now, if you want to check out the open house, it's tonight and tomorrow from 6 until 10 p.m. You can also go this weekend starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. There will be live performances from dozens of local arts groups, including the symphony, ballet and opera, which, of course, are all going to be housed right inside this theater. Now, this is all free and open to the public starting tonight through Sunday. And if you'd like a complete list of all the activities that are going to be taking part, we have a link on our website at KXAN.com. But guys, this is an absolutely Stunning center. It looks beautiful. Kate, okay, you look it? pretty comfy on the main stage. Uh -oh. I am. I won't sing or dance because then you'll make fun of me. But <laughs> nobody's there to watch you, though. I bet you you'll start. Kate White off Performing out Arts again. Center later on this morning. All right, we'll expect some sort of entertainment later. I'll work on something. All right. I'll come up. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. Time the Long Center for the Performing Arts near Lady Bird Lake opens its doors today. It's been nearly three years in the making. We are live this morning with Kate White out there to tell us how you can check it out for yourself. Hi, Kate. Hey, good morning, guys. We are inside the new. Dell Hall Theater right here on the main stage. And as you were saying this weekend, you can actually check it all out starting tonight. In fact, we have Jack Bunning. He is the director of marketing and development. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this Absolutely morning. Absolutely my pleasure. All right. So tell us about three years in the making with this whole building. Actually, the entire project is 16 years oh in the goodness. making from the time it was birthed as an idea to build a performing arts center here in Austin. And so this is the final product. Uh, construction started about three years ago and we're happy to open to the public starting tonight. Which is so exciting and people might remember the old Palmer Auditorium being here and they actually may see some of it. They, they'll here. see lots of the old Palmer Center. This is actually an adaptive reuse of the old Palmer Center. We saved uh, the stage house that we're in right now which was the largest in the state of Texas. We saved the old dome which is now the siding of the building that we're in. We saved, oh goodness, parts of the floor. We saved parts of the, the woodwork and, and the paneling. Bathroom. The bathrooms, we saved the actual marble from the old Palmer bathrooms, which was the bathroom partitions. Those are now the countertops in the new bathrooms. So there are bits and pieces all over the building of the old Palmer Center. Which is so neat. And this is now going to be a home for so many of our arts. Right. This is uh, our founding resident company, as are the Symphony, Opera, and Ballet, and it'll be their home. And then we have the Rollins Theater downstairs, which is a 240-seat black box theater, which is the home for about 150 small and emerging arts groups. And actually, it's booked for about a year already with... Uh, Oh, Tacho Vivo, Pro Arts Collective, uh, Rude Mechanicals, you name it, Austin Chamber Music Society, lots of different groups are being able to use this space. Well, and talk about what's going to be happening tonight and then throughout the weekend. Tonight's our sneak peek, free to the public open house, starting tonight at 6 o'clock. It's 6 to 10 tonight, 6 to 10 tomorrow night, and then um, Saturday and Sunday all day. Uh, we have public tours of the building. We have lots of performances. Uh, tonight, although it may be raining a little bit, we may have to move it inside, but we have a group called Mass Ensemble that is actually going to play the building out front. They're, it's becoming a musical instrument, a harp, How and they're cool. going to play the building. How neat. And you know what? We actually have a link on our website to KXA and to all of the events that are taking place 
happening tonight and tomorrow. Thank you so Great. much, Jack, Absolutely. for Thank joining you for coming us this out. morning. Also, we should mention, you know, this building cost $77 million, and it was paid through all through donations. No city or state funding. Well, that's beautiful. Isn't yeah, it? just from what we could see right now, Kate, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, it is so gorgeous. And I was up on the second tier. Really, not a bad senior house. I'm, I may go up to the third tier later on.